Hi, the video is intended for technical support staff of GPS tracking providers. In this video we will show how to diagnose such a problem as There is no data from the level sensor at all. Finding problems will start directly with the software. Consider the example of the monitoring platform violin. In this example, the latest data from the truck comes in, but there is no data about fuel level. Possible reason. Fuel level messages from the sensor come, but are considered incorrect and filtered out. The value of the fuel sensor value filter is incorrectly set. Another common case is that the function of using level sensors for this object is not enabled. Just look at the source data that comes from the GPS tracking terminal to the server. In the violon platform, to do this, go to the Messages section and select the Raw Data option. In Messages, you need to find a message from the field level sensor. Different monitoring platforms may display received data in different ways, or not display them at all. Viewing the raw data received by the server is the most important diagnostic tool for the GPS tracking platform system. You can find out the name of your level sensor message in the equipment catalog on the Gurdam website. For example, for the Betsy E device, fuel level sensors connected via RS485 interface are visible under this name. Here they are in the messages. In the messages we can meet four cases. The first is that the sensor is connected and its values are transmitted to the server. The second is that there is no data from the sensor. Instead, the tracker transmits a special diagnostic code indicating that there is no response from the sensor. This is typical only for digital interfaces, RS485 or CAN. The diagnostic code is not sent by all trackers. Some GPS trackers, in the absence of communication with the sensor, will not send anything. Some trackers send zero value when there is no sensor response. Zero can be considered as a case of diagnostic code if you send the minimum sensor value to one. In Eurosense Dominator, it is done like this. Possible reasons for the appearance of the diagnostic code. The tracker posts the level sensor at the wrong address. Usually, the default trackers read the first few addresses from the RS485 line in search of a sensor response. If the sensor is not located at addresses 1, 2, 5, but it is mistakenly assigned the number 50 or 250, the tracker will not receive an answer to its request and we will see its diagnostic code. In the Eurosense Dominator sensor settings, there is a setting that allows the sensor to respond to request for data to any address. If earlier the tracker and the sensor successfully communicated with each other, then the probability that the track itself changed its address settings is small. But it should be considered in the case when a special web server is used for tracker settings. It is possible that this tracker mistakenly got someone else settings. If this is excluded, then the last reasons for the appearance of diagnostic code remain. The sensor is faulty or disabled. Further diagnostics should be made on site. Third case, the sensors are connected to the frequency or analog input. These tracker inputs always measure their status, regardless of whether the level sensor is connected or not. Therefore, when the sensor is disconnected from the tracker input, we will see a zero. It should be noted that, as a rule, the minimum possible value of the fuel level sensor with analog or frequency output cannot be equal to zero. The presence of a zero in this position tells us that the sensor is most likely disabled or disconnected. The fourth case, the message on the fuel level sensor is missing. In this case, there may be several reasons. For GPS tracker that sent a diagnostic code when the sensor does not receive response, 
The absence of a code in the messages indicates that the tracker does not send fuel level information. It is necessary to check the tracker settings. It is likely that the fuel level parameters are not included in the list of messages sent to the server. For example, this setting looks like for Betsy E terminals. For terminals that do not send a diagnostic code, it is also necessary to check their settings, the address of the sensor being polled, a list of messages for transmission. In many cases, the GPS tracker configuration can be requested by SMS or via violent commands. Consult the GPS tracker manufacturer on this topic. If earlier the terminal successfully worked with the sensor and the terminal settings remained unchanged, then we come to the last option. The sensor is disabled or faulty. You will need on-site troubleshooting, including all wiring and cables test.